In the last video we've talked about the three fundamental textile weaves. In this video we'll talk about the graphic representation of these three weaves. Perhaps you have already seen something like this. A beautiful draft with a lot of white and black squares and nobody can tell you what these squares mean. In this video we will talk about jacquard fabrics. We will talk just about the patterns that you can create on conventional and dobby looms. So looms with shafts. Enough with the introductions, let's see what textile drafts are. Textile drafts are the smallest unit of the weaving patterns that you want to create on your fabrics. They are represented with a grill in which textile designers fill the cells. Black square means that the warp yarn passes over the weft yarn. White square means that the warp yarn passes under the weft yarn. In vertical we have the warp yarns. Each column is one warp yarn. In horizontal we have the weft yarns. Each row is one weft yarn. Coloring with black or leaving the cell white means that you decide whether the warp goes over or under the weft. You can combine different colors in the warps or in the weft to create beautiful visual effects on the fabric. For example, if I color the draft like this, it means this. Let's start with the plain weave. I have, for example, a fabric for shirts. We will see through the linen tester how it is manufactured. Let's see that together. Canvas is an easy weave, in which all the odd warp threads rise as the odd weft pass, and all the even warps rise as the even weft pass. It appears identical on both sides. Two soughs are needed. Since the warp yarn goes one over, one under, one over, one under, and so on, it may represent it like this, or this. In this case, we will see that the draft is basically a plain weave, but the yarn color changes. I also have a shirt with a twill fabric. We will see through the linen tester how is it manufactured. Let's see that together. The twill is a weave with oblique ribs created by discarding of the bindings. In this case, as you can see, the warp goes two times over the weft and then under one weft. And all is shifted by one while going to the right. This weave may be represented like this. Satin weave, I have a vest over here, we will see through the linen tester how is it manufactured, let's see that together. Satin is a weave in which the warp and the weft bindings are sparser, so the fabric has a uniform appearance, shiny on the warp dominant side. As you can see in the satin the warp is preponderant, the interlacing is performed just to create the fabric, but the loose yarn is important in order to improve the sheen of the yarn. There are two problems if you want to draw a weave on an ordinary loom or dobby loom. Shafts are limited, so you can't make big drawings on fabrics. You don't have looms with 100 shafts. The maximum is 16 normally. The minimum, of course, is two shafts for the canvas. Second problem are untied yarns. If you don't interlace the warp with the weft every now and then, the yarn is loose and the fabric unravels. It's not stable. Normally you can let the warp pass over the weft for 6 or 7 steps, not more. If you don't interlace, you just have two parallel yarns with no interlacing, so there is no fabric. Weaving drafts are not just this. We also have threading, threadling, tie-up and several other things with the number of the harnesses and the shafts that you want to use. But anyway, that's enough information for today. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need any textile consultancy or any textile help, I am at disposal naturally. So yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.